Hola chicos, this is Chiara and I'm going to show you around the interior of a manzi so you can have a sense of how we live in such a small space. So yeah, welcome to the interior of a manzi. Um, let's start off with the galley, aka the kitchen. Um, it's a pretty big kitchen for a 30 foot um, size sailboat. Um, a lot of counter space and I mean, you can see. Um, this counter comes up and clicks back in here and then we get our stove. It's on a gimbal, like most boats. Um, if you're not a sailor, this is one of the coolest features of any sailboat really. You can literally, um, let's say, put a kettle on while you're on passage sailing and it moves accordingly to the, to the sea movement so nothing spills, which is super cool. I've uh, got an oven too down there. And then down here, it's a little bit of a mix. Uh, we have our pots and pans right here. <coughs> um, some food storage there on glass drawers or cups, um, dishes. Um, back there, we have some, um, you know, like food trays with like stuff that's gonna be kind of like dry and shade, potatoes and all of that, cutlery and we have a sink as well so yeah when we were setting Lorema one of the things I really wanted to have was a sink um, so here's the sink actually a big sink and a small sink which which is used for like cleaning products coffee mug and whatnot um, but we don't use it that much we do the dishes outside on a bucket using salty water so we save sweet water um, we basically use it for drinking I brush my teeth sometimes inside here, mostly outside, looking at the stars and all of that. But um, yeah, I'll show you how we pump the water, how we drink water. Um, there's a pump here on the on the bottom, and basically you just um, pump it, and the water comes out onto the mic. It's beautiful water, super clean. We have a charcoal activated filter on the water tank, which is actually right below my feet. Um, and, and yeah, that's how we drink water on board. What else? We have our toothbrush station here. <laughs> and then, yeah, just some more of the kitchen utensils, stuff we use every day, like a torch, leatherman, hairbrush, we don't really use every day, but you know. Um, and yeah, this is our bread basket with some aloe right now, our sliding things, because everything moves on the boat. And I think that's pretty much about it. I'm gonna show you the engine. Um, to be able to access the engine, we've gotta lift up these steps. So I'm just gonna back off a little bit. You gotta make sure you clip it. It's fallen on my head before and it's not fun. It hurts quite a bit. So yeah, um, this is how we access the engine. It's a Yanmar 1GM10, 9.0. 9 horsepower it's very small um, engine I mean we are a small boat but even for our boat it's kind of small um, she works really good she's called Tina uh, you gotta give your engine a name so you can swear at it basically <laughs> but um, yeah we don't really use her um, since it's such a small engine unless there's no wind um, and then yeah we just put it on if we were to get into marinas we'd use it but we don't really go into marinas to be honest it's mainly to get into the anchorage and out of the anchorage so yeah not not much usage we mostly sail all the time but you know it's good to have one it'll be a good test when we're in the rivers in senegal see see how it works um the fuel gauge is here here's just like the um, contact when we turn the engine on and yeah that's that's it i think um i'm gonna show you the batteries right here um we have a starter battery and a house battery house battery is number two we use it for our daily life just all the lights around the boat the inverter um, just every day to day electricity usage, let's say, and the started battery is number one and is, we just put it on to start the, the engine. And um, yeah, if you come over here, 
I'll show you to the um, inverter, which is right here. It's just hiding behind the chart table. Um, up there, there's the regulator for the solar panels. You can see how much voltage it's going through um, and how much uh, charge the batteries have. Um, if you just go a little bit here to the left, we got, we got our um, switch control or panel board. Um, yeah, all the panels that, um, I mean, all the switches <laughs> uh, are for different purposes. There's a, one for the fridge, one for the inverter, another one for the cabin lights. The one we use daily is the anchor light. So, you know, at, um, at sunset we put the anchor light on and all of that. And yeah, we have our phone station right here, uh, our charging station for the handheld VHF. Up here, we have some more electronics. We have our AAS. It's both receiver and transmitter, which is pretty cool. Um, it's paired with our chart plotter. We don't really have charts here. The SIM card is pretty expensive, as you know. We mostly use um, Navionics um, for sailing, navigating. But um, it's pretty cool that it's synced with the AAS because we can see whichever boats are around us and set an alarm in case we want to go to sleep uh, on a long passage and that. Super cool vinos. Uh, it's mostly so we can spy our neighbors. <laughs> and yeah, there's a BHF here. And my beats for some privacy. Uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. If you just come over here, top of your head, you're going to find the uh, depth sounder and the speed log. Um, you know, just switch them on from the switchboard and they would come on. Um, over here we have our chart table. Um, on passage, it kind of looks like this, kind of tidy. Wallet anchorage, which is dump everything on top and it tends to get super messy. We don't really use it for charts. Um, maybe not just yet. We haven't done such a long passage yet. We have a bunch of charts uh, below here along with all our important documents, passports, some cash, dollar, dollar, and all of that. But um, we might use it at some point as an actual chart table. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you one very cool thing the previous owner made for the boats. Everything has double purpose. Um, I'm sure you've seen on deck. But um, while you're on passage, it's kind of like tricky to move. So he made this extra step here so you can like sit down lock yourself with the knee down here and cook one of those cool little things to it added to a manzi and i'm pretty sure that's it for the back section i actually know um i'll show you to our garage um our garage slash the slash dumping station again because it's just um we have so much stuff on the boat um it is kind of like a rope storage, um, a willy bag, how silly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have a couple of kite, um, kite board on, kite kites, um, skateboards, uh, or grab bag in case something goes bad. Um, and yeah, our fridge actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, we It's an addition we, we got when we we're doing the refit in Portugal, which is getting too hot and we needed that little pier after work, you know? It works very well. It's a little bit empty right now. Um, it can be both fridge and freezer, just one thing at a time. And if we were able <laughs> to make ourselves super tiny and go just like right behind, um, we, would have, we would find the generator. We have a little generator which can come handy um, and then on the other side, we have spare sails, the storm sail, spare main sail, um, spare jib sail, and a heater also, um, which actually the control panel for the heater is just behind here. You won't be able to see it, but yeah, a lot of stuff on the back here. And yeah, below here are water tanks. Not gonna lift it up now, but basically you can lift this up, check how much water there's in the tanks. With a little stick it stores up to 125 liters of water and i think it does last us for at least a month because we have some 
um, spare water canisters outside. Another baby bilge, a lot of storage everywhere, you know. Uh, there's a little bit of food storage, shopping bags and all of that. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you our lounge now, moving on to the next section. Um, we have this beautiful um, table. We sometimes have dinner inside if it's chilly outside or just watching a movie. We have to put this thing on because um, <laughs> every time, I mean, now it's a pretty chilled anchorage, but if it's not, these things bang all the time and it's kind of annoying. Um, basically, um, you would just flap the wings up. It's like a little butterfly table. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. Um, you can kind of sit four comfortably, six very squeezed in. Um, but yeah, it does the job. It's static, like it doesn't move from here, which makes um, our walking through the corridors a little bit funky sometimes. You're always rubbing into someone else's but <laughs> but it is what it is um and yeah i'm going to show you this is the starboard um berth um those berths are actually like long enough for people to sleep in because they have some space down here for the feet under the cupboard um and yeah surprisingly they're super comf comfortable um and long enough down both berths we have a lot of food storage uh, right now we have provisioned for our passage to africa so a lot of dry food a lot of cans um, a lot of like long-term um, non-perishables and yeah i'm gonna show you a little bit of the secret cupboards there's just storage everywhere really um, here there's food this one's not a secret one um, some food on the other side it's um it's the same i'll show you later um and then on the back here if you put this down there's another cupboard it's the same on the other side this one's a little bit messy right now uh, but basically we have a little bit of our camera equipment like the drone here the dome for the water housing um, normally here there's spare clean linen now it's all used because we haven't done laundry in like quite a while spare towels a hammock um, and just a bunch of like random accessories really things we we use but we don't use every day um, and below the couch there's more storage which, uh, as i told you there's um there's food and also there's this very cool thing called the lick cloth um yeah we upcycled these uh sails we found in the bin in portugal and jay made these very cool um lid cloths basically you tie them either side and it prevents you from falling out of the bed when you're sailing on passage if it's very rolly and the waves are huge this keeps you in and just below here you can access also you know food and whatever else you're storing down below but yeah it's super cool as you can see really um <laughs> tiny space lots of storage you just gotta make the most of what you have um, I'm gonna show you now to Nick's side of the boat this is Nick's bedroom um, shame there's not much space for him but it's comfy enough he's a tall man he fits um, he do fit right like <laughs> all the way um, yeah keeps his feet here he has his cupboard here and on the back here it's the same cupboard i showed you on the other side but he keeps his clothes a little wardrobe more food in here um yeah kind of trying to fit food everywhere <laughs> as if we're gonna stop but anyways um a little library section this library section is mostly sailing stuff a bunch of the lynn and larry book collection super cool to read if you haven't um, the ukulele, a couple of bansuris, the Indian flutes, um, and yeah, down here we have some, well, a lot of spares for electronics and I don't know, just boat parts in general, kind of messy, but this is how it is. <laughs> um, oh, also we have a little fire extinguisher in case things went steamy, um, obviously you're like self-sufficient a boat you have to do everything by yourself so you have to have these kind of things we also have a fire blanket in the galley down there 
and yeah some sailing manuals all our manuals for the stuff that we have on board um, some more books some games a uh, little counter this is um, Shaka's counter this is where he eats and drinks and moans at 7 a.m. in the morning when he wants his food a little incense and here we have some more food storage Shaka's food it's also like kind of the naughty cupboard where we put our cookies and chocolates and all of that um, more books here mainly my yoga books but um, some novels as well our analog cameras the Sony um, yeah just a bunch of different stuff more books over here and yeah a little bit of a memory lane some pictures here from different moments um, you can see tiny shaka you can see a huge hole on the on this floor here actually um, that was just like a huge hole um, and uh, yeah what else we got some beautiful curtains as well that um we added just literally a month ago they came with the boats never used them one of those boring days on board we just um, actually Jay put them up um, but they did the job because it's super hot so it's kind of nice to to make some um, shade during the day um, yeah we have two plants as the baby green stuff we have on board um, and yeah let's move on to the next section um, this is um, the bathroom here behind you. I'll show you it now. Down here we have another bilge. When we had to weld, there was a big hole on the hull and redid all of this area. Originally this was filled with um, concrete. Um, it wasn't that much of a ballast weight, so we decided to keep it um, kind of empty and use it as storage. We have paint, uh, brushes, any sort of appliances we might need on like you know, just to do a little maintenance job, um, little touch-ups on deck or something, have it accessible. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, if we were going to do a refit, the main stuff, tools, everything's under the bed because, you know, we don't need to access it <laughs> that often. Um, and yeah, moving along here, uh, Jay built this super cool um, kind of top counter work table um you know his dream is to have actually a workshop on the boat and this is <laughs> this is it for now a bunch of tool racks um toolbox um it's actually a pretty cool table to work on cut stuff if you need it um just have everything to, to pull everything out um and yeah i mean before it was just like a damp kind of hole it still is a little bit more organized laundry bag spare sail there um, we have our safety harnesses on the back that we pull out when we go on passage, shakas food, rope bag, who doesn't have a rope bag on the boat with odds and ends of little ropes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you to the bathroom. Um, it's a bit of a puzzle to get into the bathroom, but it's not, it's not that bad. Um, you just have to pull this little door here, put this little knob in there, and then yeah. Let's go inside. Okay, so this is the little bathroom of a manzi. Um, it kind of looks like a normal house toilet, but it isn't. Um, feels like it though when you sit on it. I'm not going to demo now, but basically you've got some bulbs here. This is the inlet um, of seawater outlet. So whenever you're done with your business, you pull this up and then you've got a pump instead of flashing just with the little button you've got a pump like five or six times wait for a bit and then pump another couple of times again uh we have a lot of you know just storage toiletries and whatnot um we have a pretty big um uh, bag of just general medicines and um, generic antibiotics this is kind of like a grab quick and grab I forgot to tell you, but under Nick's uh, bed, we have a huge first aid, um, you know, package, um, just in case something happened. Uh, we bought a bunch of bleach, because although we have the charcoal thing on the water tank, um, we've been advised to um, clean the water in Africa with a little bit of bleach. So we make sure we drink water without any bacteria. Yeah, some sustainable products, always trying to do our best. Um, 
yeah, and that's that's kind of the view you get when you're in the toilet. Oops, sorry, went vertical. Yeah, um, and yeah, and here we store our fowlies, fowl weather gear. Uh, we haven't been using them since we're in Canaries. Might use them on our passage to Africa, but yeah, they kind of stay nice and clean, just hanging up here on the little hanging station. And yeah, I'm gonna come out. Um, close the doors here. Whoops. And yeah, welcome to <laughs> Shaka's main uh, suite. Um, this is Jay and I's bedroom. It's two meters wide by two meters long. Obviously, in the feet, it narrows down. But it's quite spacious, um, it's comfortable enough. I mean, our feet are always pretty much touching, but you know, it's it's super nice, big, comfy bed. Um, either, on either side, we have our clothes, uh, kind of our little wardrobe, have to be quite minimalistic with the clothes on board. Um, a little bit of a struggle for me, <laughs> but yeah. And um, yeah, if we were to lift up all the mattresses, which are kind of cutting pieces and the boards, um, we have a huge uh, storage for, yeah, as I said, tools um, and all bunch of things that we would need if we were going into a little bit of a yard period. Um, right just <laughs> behind where Shaq is sleeping, you can see there's like a wooden door that um, is an easy access to the chain locker. Um, we open it once in a while, so it breathes out and stuff, but we mostly dry the chain on deck, so it tends to be quite a water-free um, space which is good when you have a steel boat or any boat really um, down here we have more storage our kites um, a bunch of toys on board as you've realized um, yeah we just i mean it kind of goes with the lifestyle we wanted to live on a sailboat to have fun and do all these kind of sports and you know so we gotta make space for them although we live on a tiny boat and um yeah what else i mean we have our little hatch here <laughs> when we sleep it's quite nice because you can look at the moon at the stars um if you want to have a little nap during the day you just put this kind of homemade curtain on provides a little bit of shade but the rest still comes through and um yeah i mean this is this is us this is a manzi um Quite a small space, but you can feel a lot of stuff. Um, it provides us with a lot of happiness and all of that. So, uh, <laughs> super, super grateful. Um, hope you liked it. Um, hope you don't think how crazy we are to live in such a small space, three people. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's lots of fun and it doesn't matter how small it is. We have everything we need. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Hey guys, um, hope you enjoyed the tours of Amanzi. If you watch it, it's because you are supporting us for Patreon site. So thanks, thanks so much. Super grateful for that. <laughs> um, yeah, and hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, if you have any other questions, just uh, get in contact with us. We'll be happy to talk to you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Catch Adios. soon. Ciao.